This is why I love shopping at HEB. I'm drinking a little sparkling Moscato. Well, getting my grocery shopping done. Okay, I don't know what I just showed you in my grocery list. I don't know. I'm gonna keep sipping and head over to the vitamin section. This day is getting better. I think everybody's day should start like, or everybody's week should start like this. The doorbell rang. I thought it was Amazon or something. Wait, can you? Ah, there, the lighting is not great, but now you can see it. Look at these beautiful flowers. And then it came with this. Let's see what's in the box. Well, that's nice. Dear Marnie, Mother's Day is around the corner and we want to celebrate the extraordinary influential mom that you are. A little surprise from GD New York and 1-800-Flowers because we all know that moms love handbags and flowers. Yes, we do. So... Dun, da, 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 dun, da, dun. Okay. Ooh. I'm Ooh, it's like an act. <gasps> okay, this is too funny. I literally just saw this on their website this morning and thought, you know what? Instead of going for the circular straw bag, why don't I get a circular fabric bag? And I saw this on their website this morning. No way. <gasps> it's linen-ish, I think. And then it has the outside pocket and it's round. And this is so much better than a straw bag because I can't break it. Oh my gosh, I gotta go email them right now. Oh my gosh, okay. I just, I love this company. I love the people. They're just good people and very generous. I'm gonna smell my flowers. I'm trying another new recipe from Skinny Taste. These are the chicken tzatziki skewer. Z skewers, I guess, except I changed a little bit. Instead of thighs, I used chicken breasts, but um, I put them together and then Michael grilled them and they look exactly how they look on the website. But instead of doing bowls, I'm just gonna plate some rice, put the skewers there, and then I made the cucumber tomato salad. I just kept it on the side and the tzatziki on the side as well. That's a Greek yogurt version. So Shane can have it and have some feta cheese and olives also on the side because some of us like it meaning Michael and myself, and some of us don't, meaning Shane. So, we're gonna go dig in. I'll show you what it looks like when it's all pretty on the plate. That's it without the tzatziki fully sauce. Loaded, fully, loaded. fully loaded with a little aloe juice there. That's And we should extra. use our hands, just like. No, I gotta get some. I love you in the solo cup. Should I start calling you Kim? That's a Real Housewives of Atlanta reference, but that's it. I'll let you know, but they look really good. Good morning, I have no makeup on because I'm about to film a video that's like a get ready with me kind of thing. But the FedEx man arrived bright and early. I wanna show you what I sent. So when I go to the rewards hotel conference every year, for me, it's like not only watching my Instagram feed come to life, which is bizarre, but it's also an opportunity to do some like window shopping. So I love seeing what everybody else has and finding out where they bought whatever it is they bought. And something I've seen the last few years at the conference and on my Instagram feed a lot is are these totes from Barrington Gifts. Anyway, so I finally bought the bullet and got one. Um, actually, I met with the company last year and they um, very nicely offered to send me one. So I was like, okay, I was gonna order one anyway. Um, so it just showed up and I just, all I did was pull it out of the box. So here's what it looks like. And this is a sticker. Don't know that I will be sticking it on anything. Oh, so this is nice. This dust bag has a drawstring because I can repurpose this for many, many things. Let me pull it out, hang on. And here she is. So um, this is, I believe, a Savannah zippered tote. And I will tell you why I picked it. I saw my friend Megan from Honey, We're Home with it. And um, uh, she has a different, combo I believe but you can pick your pattern you can pick to have it monogrammed or not you can pick what kind of monogram what kind of stripe so I went with this like basically it's leopard print because leopard goes with everything right and I just thought pink is a little fun and girly um and then what I why I picked it was I wanted a pretty good sized tote for travel especially on air travel I'm doing a lot of traveling in the next few months and so I just wanted something very big this is not leather it's um like almost like a vinyl, so it's very durable. This might, this is leather, actually. Um, this part is leather, so it's nice and sturdy on the bottom. You do also get to choose your shade of leather. 
Um, I went with the lighter one. So I picked this one, one, because it zips on the top, as you can see. It also has this nice zipper on the outside so I can stick my phone, my ID in there for getting through security real quick, my what have you, but check out the inside. I love that it stands up so nicely. So it has lots of pockets. It has a zipper pocket here as well. And then on the inside, it has all these slip pockets. One, two, here's another one, three. All the zippers are covered, that's nice. Four, has a little key fob, clippy thing here. I do not mean for this to be like a whole review thing, but I probably would be happy to do a what's in my carry-on travel bag. Here's what it looks like on the body. It's a pretty good size. <coughs> Excuse me. If you are interested, that'll probably come up in June, I'm thinking. So if you want to see like what I throw in the bag, the purse that I carry on the plane, please let me know. That can be arranged. So sometimes you have a really crappy day. I have had a, an incredibly crappy day. Like everything that could go wrong. No, that's not true. I still have a pretty, um, how do I put this? No matter how awesome life is, sometimes you just have a really crappy day. <coughs> that's not the word I want to use, but you know which one I mean. And sometimes it just, you know what makes everything better? Stop it, Ronnie. Having a good cry. Yes, I haven't had that in a long time. And I fought it, and I fought it, and I fought it. I could just feel the tension building up in my head. So I just cried. As evidenced by the non-waterproof mascara I'm wearing today. <laughs> Excuse me. Still working on that cough. Um, Rowdy just brought this up. This is ball moss. If you don't live in the south. That's what that is. There you go, ready? Um, he'll probably bring it back. Anyway, I feel so much better. It really does release endorphins. So those of you who are having a crappy day, go ahead and cry loud. <laughs> Look, smile back on my face. Now I just have to figure out this. It was good. It was a good makeup day till this happened. Oh well. Alright, it is Wednesday and it is a better day. It's a red lipstick kind of day, actually. And Michael took me to lunch. There he is. He's making he's, he's embracing the virtual keyboard. It's taking him a little longer. He hates it. He wants his Blackberry back. It's not coming back. Except it. Anyway, I'm going a little there and I've got an ancient grains. Do we know what this is? It's an ancient grains bowl with quinoa and seeds and avocado and those. I don't know what those are. So it looks good. I shall dig in and let you know. Hello. I am walking into one of my favorite places. There we go. Where is it? There it is. Hard to see in the sun. Bubble Bar is having a little trunk show today, so I thought I would stop by and see what they have. Like these. I just got these. I'm actually looking for these white ones that I saw on the website. I kind of want to see if they have them here because I want some instant gratification. put it on Instagram stories. So I'm gonna insert the footage of me debating whether or not to buy what I bought right now. Hey guys, I am actually at Nordstrom and I came in for the Bobble Bar trunk show. I actually am wearing 
some new bubble bars, but I wanted to show you my outfit of the day because the lighting is pretty decent, but these mirrors are everything. Okay, this is a dress, but I'm too lazy to take off my pants and my shoes. And it's, I don't know if you can, here we go. See, it has this cute V neck and the extra small. I really like it. Hmm. Okay, I rolled up the pants. I look like a goofy person, but it gives me a better idea of how this would look. Actually, it looks really cute with these shoes, and the oversized thing is working for me. So, yep, just a keeper. Okay, Michael is gone to go get Jake. Shane is at Powder Puff Football. He's coaching the junior spirit. That's the dancers and the cheerleaders. They're going to play the seniors, I think, next Friday. I hope, I think. Anyway, I... I'm going to take all of my makeup off and get into my pajamas because why not? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. <sighs> so tired. But I gotta tell you, this Estee Lauder double wear combined with the Hollywood flawless filter is making this look way better. I mean, my skin looks really good with this. This was a good, this is a good makeup day. This is the Naturally Matte Palette with some Chanel Illusion Dombra, but even though I just like took a little nap and I've been like this, my makeup, no touching up. I am very pleased with this combination, but it is coming off right now. Hello. Love to see that tail. Boom, 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 boom. Hi, Rowdy. <laughs> You don't even know how happy you're about to be. In about four hours, your boy's coming home and daddy, your two favorite people. I think you love Jake, then dad, then me, then Shane. This is, um, this is why it's tricky to sleep in the bed at night because some people, people that have fur and four legs think that this is an appropriate way to sleep when there are other people in the bed. Today's the day that Jake comes home. Yay! He's only gonna be home for a few weeks. He has decided to stay the whole summer for the summer session at Ole Miss, which makes me sad, but I don't blame him. I'd rather be there too. Um, well, if I were him, not if I were me. Anyway, so in anticipation of that, I am making one of his favorites, banana bread. Um, look at that beautiful yellow. It's so good. Anyway, I'm going to get that done, and then I'm going to get that in the oven and get dressed while that is cooking and let the dog out, apparently, too. I ran to H-E-B to just pick up a few things. So I asked Dick, what do you want for your first dinner home? I'll make you anything. I'm not cooking tomorrow, but tonight I'm all yours. And he goes, I want sautéed ground chicken, white rice, gravy, roasted butternut squash. Like, seriously? Like from when you were in football? But anyway, they're having, like, wine tastings throughout the store for the moms. So I walked in and was handed a little thing of sangria. Now I'm drinking Moscato. I love my H-E-B. It's kind of fun here. All right, they are nine minutes away. We're watching some football backstory stuff. Shannon, I like this stuff. Is this, is this like 30 on 30 or it's just like a documentary on some, I don't know, on some. They're in the NFL now. When was this made, Jake? Shane, sorry. This year? The Saquon Barkley, the Chubb kid. Is that it? No. Anyway, my favorite thing about Jake coming home after a long time is watching this one absolutely lose his mind. You have no idea what's coming. Contain your energy. Also, in honor of Jake coming home, I made sweet tea because he asked for that too. Shin likes it too, so I'm gonna keep it going. But instead of using sugar, I used stevia. So hopefully it turned out. Here we go. He's crying. Oh. Wrigley. He's so ha Oh, get out of the way. Yeah! This is my view to wake up. I have my babies. 
Wrigley's doing inappropriate things over there. But these two, hello, hello. Are you kissing each other? What about kissing mommy? Are we kissing? This is very cute. If you don't like dogs, you're gonna hate this vlog. It's too late for you though. Look at that face. Oh my God, look at his little feet. All right, I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna go have my coffee. And they love each other. Or he's trying to eat her face, I'm not sure which. So for my Mother's Day present, I, well, we're going for brunch at 18 Oaks at the JW Marriott, but I really want to get these new, Soma, well, they're not new, it's the Soma Cool Nights pajamas. Check it out, it's in the window, that's so funny. Probably can't see it in the reflection, but you can see me. So since it's on the way to brunch, I convinced Michael, well, I didn't have to convince. I, they just asked, what did I want? And I said, can we just stop at Soma on the way so I can pick out what I want instead of you guys picking it out for me? So I got Michael to come with me, but the boys are hiding in the car because Soma is also a bra store and they're horrified. So let's go see what we can find. right here. That's the empty one. The creme brulee was not great. A pretty good spread. The bananas foster was just okay. But this was amazing. And um, you have just seen some footage of the, what's left of the spread here. But I have to go blow my nose. Okay, champagne is not my thing. So, excuse me. This is embarrassing that I can't drink alcohol. And I look, I have to fluff without my nose running like crazy. Those balls are all signed, I think, by prior Texas Open winners. Anyway, I'm gonna run into the ladies' locker room to go blow my nose. I wonder if it works if I can take like an antihistamine before I have champagne, or if you don't mix those, I don't know. I will ask my pharmacist, but I'm sure somebody can weigh in and let me know how that works. <clears throat> so, Ooh, jelly bellies. Just shove them. Howdy. 
generations of lime runners before you are rolling to, like, in their brain graves, urns, or that you do that. He needs Good the exercise. Boy. I feel like his dad went in with him, he'd like it. Good boy, Ralph. I think his dad's not getting in anytime soon. He's just huh? trying to get back to him. How's that water, Ralph? Here, walk over there. You gotta... No, don't let him get to the stairs or it's all over. <laughs> it's like we're gonna be on that no, Walk no. over there, like bring him over there. We didn't go to all this effort to get him in just to let him get right back out. Under my chair. What happens if you just let go of him? There she is. Maybe he's like, go. what is happening? Yeah, but can you like, like... He can swim. Hi, Mimi. You don't want to do that? She's like, hell no. <laughs> he can't sink. He's in a life jacket. I don't think he understands that. No. Dad is obsessed with the flutter. You're doing so well, Rowdy. Good boy. Good boy. Bingo. If he lets go, he's going to make a beeline for the step. He's fast. Whoa. <laughs> Here he comes. Push him around the dun, 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 dun. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. And that was that. <laughs> he just took Good job, off. Jake. Excellent work. <laughs> Bye, Rowdy. Well, my friends, that was a perfect day. I am now going to take a shower and wash off the sunscreen and then get back into my cozy new robe that I got from Soma. I love it. It's the perfect summer robe. Uh, we have to order my pajamas. They didn't have anything, not one thing in the store in a small. Anyway, it's a perfect day, and this is the perfect ending to a lovely vlog, I hope. I haven't watched back the film yet, but hope you all had um, I hear ya. a wonderful Mother's Day. And, uh, um, what? I'm talking to the vlog. Anyway. I hope you had fun with us this week, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!